Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left last time, we were back here again to do this perception check because I redid all the fights. Uh, there was only one thing of note that was different this time than last time, we went actually up here by accident. Uh, we got, well, one of the enemies got feared up here and grabbed all of the things up here, so there was a couple of extra guys to fight. It was a very uneventful fight and we killed them all, but more importantly, there's a hidden rock here. Which is the thing I wanted to point out, and it has an ancient Cyclops coin in it. So let me sure. Oh, I picked up some garbage, didn't I? I sure did. Alright, whatever, it doesn't matter. We can drop all these breastplates later. We'll just grab them all for now, save ourselves some time. We're gonna save and do this perception check until we actually succeed. It shouldn't be all that hard. We have pretty high perception. I think there's like an item in there, though. It worked done. this time. At the bottom of the well half hidden underwater lies a broken bucket tied to a piece of rope and a dead spriggan with a broken neck. Okay, so that wasn't very exciting. In my defense, I didn't actually remember what it had, but uh, apparently it wasn't all that important. It was only worth 56 experience, so I may have wasted like five minutes of my time. It's fine, everything's okay. Do we loot these things? Yes, I believe we did. Anyways, it'll bring up a loot window when we go into there. Or it won't. We'll deal with it later. So we do have some enemies. There's a Spriggan Raider, a Spriggan Savage, a Crossbowman, two Crossbowmen, three Crossbowmen. One of them's a Skilled Crossbowman and two are Dodgy. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the two, but then again, I don't really care. Shoot this guy in the back a bunch of times. Four times right in the back. He is going to be feared. That's what happened last time. He's off. So the dodgy ones shoot faster. And our main character is just about dead again. Let's get our tanky all the way down there. And maybe we'll just start shooting some of these crossbowmen. Knock knock, where are you at? Can you charge anything? You are positioned exactly so you can't charge anything. Super. We'll hit that one. I think that one might be feared too. Nope, it's just doing something. Uh, nope, nope. Alright, we're gonna walk all the way over here. I guess we'll hit that one. Uh, Amiri should be able to charge something. Oops, that's the wrong ability. What does strength surge even do? Alright, we get extra strength. Not super important right now. Uh, let's go with that one. We'll take an AOO, or not, and we'll hit that one. And we're gonna go around his side and hit that one, and we are going to heal ourselves. And see if we can position ourselves in sort of a safe-ish area, maybe? We'll see. You deserved it. Still haven't quite killed that one. That one's now big. And we, di <laughs> we died. They really hit our main character. Like, a lot. Is there not an autosave for that thing? Really? Oh, that's lame. Alright, let's do this again. Please don't fail. I have managed. Cool. Saving again, because apparently that's a thing. Okay. This is some horrible positioning too. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. Let's see, don't attack the first round. Let's just start shooting the crossbowmen, I guess. I'm gonna move Canera up to here and see if we can kill this one and fear some of the other ones. We can, but we only got no fears off. That's annoying. Uh, Alright, go around this corner, hit that one. That one's now big. We still can't charge anything. No. So we're gonna go this way. Actually, just go through. Hopefully, next turn we'll be able to hit them. Amiri can charge, so she's off. Taking an AOO. That one's not big. Stop shooting our main character. Okay. We must have things that protect us, like stone skin. Okay, let's see where this is going. Uh, sure. There, now everyone has stone skin. That might keep him alive a little bit longer. Be 
Mm-hmm. Well, let's shoot that one to death. Still not quite dead. I'm gonna move up to here. It's feared, so I don't think it gets an AOO, but that one actually does. Did we fear any other ones? Yeah, we got one of the dodgy crossbows. Oh. Well, that's really annoying. I was kind of hoping to charge. One dodgy crossbow left. Still not dead, but just about. God, they hate my main character, like, with a burning passion. I don't know why. They really do. There's only one left, though. That stone skin saved our lives. And that should be the end of it. It has now exploded. We survived. Barely. We need more Khan or something. He's not supposed to be near the front of the fight under any circumstances. Basically, if he gets focused, he just dies. Just no real. Saving him, in all honesty. He's weak. He is a very weak. Let's go inside. What's that? Yeah, it is a trap. Let's stop everyone from moving and get knock knock in there. Is there any other doors? No, just that one. I did it. You I did, did it. do it. Uh, this is a lock. We're gonna save just in case we fail. Oh, it's not locked. Never mind. Everything is fine. Why did it stop us from moving? Ancient scrap of script colored color. Script covered leather. That's the one. And we're moving on. More traps. <laughs> Did it without There's definitely going to be more guys in here. Another scrap of script co covered leather. Why can't I talk today? Jeez. We got some silver powder and some other stuff. Alright, who's in the front of our group? Alright, this is fine. Everything's fine here. It's all good. Knock Knock is more than capable of doing this all on his own. By moving out of the way. Um, the rogue, I guess we'll target first. And miss. Burn. Apparently we missed by hitting a pillar. I mean, that does kind of make sense. Why can't our main character be more like our Smilodon and not take any damage? I don't think we can charge. Pretty sure we're not in line of sight for anything at the moment. Okay, we need to get our other Smilodon in here, which is just fine, except it missed as well. Why is everything missing today? That one just about died. That was pretty good. Pretty good combat round there. Can we charge anything with a Miri? No, she's around the corner too much. I don't think she can even hit this round. Nope. Knock Knock's turn. I guess he could have stayed in here. Nothing really bad happened. Almost killed that one. Alright, so this Smilodon can take this rogue down probably by itself. We missed the last one. Can Eric finish this one? Probably. They are really bad at shooting, I'll give them that. except our main character. Our main character apparently is the easiest target in the whole world, and dies if you breathe on him wrong. He has the constitution and survivability of a human baby, which is to say, basically none. Oops, didn't mean to cast your strike. But we can't also charge because of that. Unfortunate. But it happens. That one's dead. Last Smilodon, or last thing, but we can't quite reach it. Which means we have to walk in and hit it normally. It is badly wounded. Do not falter. 
And that's that. Okay, a bunch more dead Spriggans. There's like an awful lot of Spriggans in this place. I don't know why this place is so Spriggan heavy. Full disclosure, I don't exactly remember this part of the game super well. I know that we fight one specific dude, or our goal is to stop one specific dude, or help him, depending on which way you go, but uh, the subtler parts of this I don't recall all that well. Hang on. Oh no, the formation is correct. Oh well. Well, let's see. We can charge the fighter. There's only three, four, five. There are five of them, and we can't charge in literally any of them. That's dumb. All right, let's go this way. Be easier if you not fight back. That was a pretty good hit. Lindsay, try to finish that one off. That one died. Okay. Knock knock is gonna take some. Oh wait, no, it's. Oh no. Oh yeah, we have sunskin on. Never mind. I'm not worried about anything. We have no ability to charge around the corner. I wish there was a feat like... I don't know what it would be called. But like the ability to change direction while charging. Relentless charge or something like that. It could be called. Maybe there is a feat like that in Pathfinder. You know? I do know quite a bit about Pathfinder, but I don't know for sure. About specific feats, because there are so many homebrewed feats out there, and like... like crowd made classes and stuff like that that it's almost impossible to keep up on all of it. I don't think there's any canonical way to change direction while charging though. Come here, Bax. Not to stab you. Oh my god, Knock Knock just killed the guy in two hits. That was monstrous. No one's afraid. I like how when they become afraid, they immediately start taking sneak attack damage from everything. Because technically they're flat-footed. Or something along those lines. Damn it. I hate it when the charges get stuck. If you can't charge, don't let me charge. Because I just wasted movement that way. That's the one thing about pen and paper, usually. Usually your DM is pretty cool and stuff like that. Be like, oh, that charge actually doesn't work. Okay, you can change your, your action for the turn. Technically, I don't have to, I guess, but most would. Because it's about fun, mostly. This shaman work, not hero work. Fine, just go hit him. How did you miss? This Lindsay, I believe in you. There we go. Lindsay's ability to make them feared through her just, like, shooting is pretty impressive. Canera will be switching... Oh, frick, we took a stupid shield. Um, we'll be switching more to an earth-based thing soonish. Because she's going to be doing a lot of knockdown type stuff. This is all garbage. Because uh, knockdowns are really powerful with her, especially. We can go upstairs, but we're not going up there yet. This is... The bear opens the door. Oh, okay. Our path leads on. Which leads back to the beginning of the hold. Do we loot that treasure chest? Yes. Which means we have one more door to do down here. And then we'll head upstairs. See what there is to kill. Can you make an epic pose? I what do we have here? There's a rogue. There's several unknowns. Attack! Canera. Actually, I think I'll start switching to Earth now. Uh, and then we're going to use... Bowling infusion. And... That's really it for now. Okay. Taste my fury. This is going to hurt. And it's down. <laughs> and it's back up again. There is, however... Which knife to use? A shooty boy back there. Which is fine. Damn it, stupid charge... Oops, I hit that button too many times. Right. 
Okay, Smilodon just walk in. That one's feared and wandering around like an idiot. Let us strike as one. Hit that one. Ignore Eltamar. He's not very useful here. And a knock knock and charge. That one. Finish it off. Ignoring Amiri. Can we charge all the way up there? No. Double move up here. You deserved it. Pew. And we'll move this other guy up here. And that should be good. Nope. Nope. Nah. No. Just get back to this Milodon. There's also another door here that does something. Not entirely sure what yet. This looks like a torture area or like something. Well, there's at least stockades here, so it's not exactly like a good area. I was successful in my search. We got some food. And some more food. This Milodon is in the way of my more food stealing, but whatever. Uh gold, Jasper, a garbage potion. So really nothing important. That's like the story of our Varnhole trip, though. Nothing really important has happened. It's kind of a disappointing day. Forwards. Alright. Well, we're at 16 minutes, and we have one more floor to do. It shouldn't be all that hard, I don't think. We've been kind of crushing our way through this. The biggest spriggan, scarred, and beaten bears his rotting teeth. I guess we can't rest even here. I bet you followed our trail from our very den. Forcing us from our home wasn't enough. Now you've come to finish us off. Well, a guy will not make this easy for you. Forced you out of your home? What do you mean? Like you don't know. The cave to the north where I lived my entire life before your kind came. Enough. I'm done running. A guy swings his blade and utters a shrill battle cry as he charges you. Well, it's time for haste. Haste is vital in a fight like this. We have... Well, a guy and then a bunch of Spriggan, basically. Luckily, they will spend their first action making themselves giant and not attacking us. We're gonna spend our first turn charging at nothing, because we stopped on the ground for some reason. Which means we lost six whole attacks. Oh, shit, there's rogues behind us, too. Regardless, we're not gonna... Oh, that's Canera. That was not the person I thought it was. Uh, actually... Not the best move. Okay. Main character. Maybe just heal everyone for now. You are the person I thought was going to do that before, but there we go. One dead. Okay, Amiri is going to go fight this rogue with a giant shield for some reason. We're gonna charge that one. Wow, well, he has some serious damage reduction from piercing. That's okay. Any last wishes? All right. Canera is apparently under pretty heavy attack. We're not gonna charge. Every time we charge into melee in this room, it seems we get stopped immediately. So. Five foot step forward. Be easier fight back. Looks like he did pretty good. Uh, Canera, knock that thing down. What was that? He attacked with a heavy flail and hit two people. He must have like cleaving. Oh, he just cleaved straight up. It was acid damage, but that didn't seem to matter too much. How much was it? One d six acid damage. Fair enough. Not too concerned. Let's cast a spell. What spell, though? No, I'm gonna end up hitting my own people with this blade barrier. We should uh, use that at a different time in a different place. We will use it, though. Just not yet. Let's shoot something for now. Um, shoot that one. He's on the ground. You can bear. You can hardly be expected to miss that one. How did you miss the last hit? Whatever. It's fine. Uh, 
Amiri? Should have three attacks on this. Oh. Oh. Oh, Amiri, come on. What did, what did she have to roll on that first attack? Armor class 20. She had to roll at least a three. She rolled a two. Do not Amiri, you're breaking my heart here. A guy steps back, pressing his hands against his bleeding wounds. Well, you got me. He hisses through clenched teeth. Go on, then. Keep pounding us. Push us back. Clearly taking all we had wasn't enough. What are you on about? You attacked the citizens of Varnhold. You think me a fool? You attacked us in our own home, and now you follow us here to finish the job. How can we possibly bother anyone in an empty city? Are you saying the city was empty when you got here? Who cares? We arrived and no one else was here. We checked for traps, we checked for ambushes. Nothing. Totally livable. The guy is silent for a moment. If I knew you'd follow us, I'd take everyone even further away. I believe you and your kin aren't to blame for the disappearance in Var of Varnhold citizens. I'll let you leave in peace. Just tell us where your den is. Perhaps I could pay a visit and help get your home back. A guy stares at you, unblinking, then scoffs in contempt. An awesome wants to help? Sure. I'll be surprised if I'm still breathing when we're done. I bet you just want to fight your way and take my cave for yourself. Good gods, what a stubborn creature you are. Eltmar grants you not just life, he promised to retrieve your home. You could at least thank the person who could have been your executioner. A guy sizes the woman up with a hostile glare and shakes his head. But what do I care? If I'm lucky, you'll both just kill each other. Find an old cave to the south. That's where you'll find the creeps you forced us out. And if by chance... And if by some chance you manage to get them out of there, I'll know, and then we can talk some more. Don't follow me, he says, walking away. I wasn't going to. This is a good-ish playthrough. Lawful playthrough. And it's not lawful to kill people who took over an empty city. It's not really a problem. We should have killed all the little dudes, though. That would have been worth some experience. Do we even get experience for finishing that fight? Yes, 202 whole experience, which is a little bit light, but whatever. Okay, so it's the Fallen Warriors Boot, an Albear Omelet a Recipe, Tuskwater Oysters, and a Quarterstaff Crimson Counselor, plus two Fire Gemstone, and it's a Monk Weapon, apparently. There's also a letter with threats. Baron Magar Varn, I'm writing to you as an ally and well-wisher. The reason for my letter is the lack of foresight in your actions. You're trying so hard to become friends with this Baron from Akiria. You invite him to pay you a visit, you assure him of sincerity, you even send rich gifts. Have you nothing more to do in your lands? I strongly recommend you stop flirting with this upstart person and turn your gaze to the affairs of the day. You are trying to cross the path with powerful forces that can reach you even in your own castle. You should know your place. With wishes of good health and calm sleep, your friend. I see, he's been threatened. My good pal was threatened. Oh wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. there's a desk here with things. There's also an unfinished letter from Megar Varn, most honorable Baron Eltmar. I am Baron Megar Varn of Varnhold, and I am writing to inquire about the current state of affairs in your realm. I hope that no trouble or pestilence have found their way to your lands. Perhaps we could arrange a neighborly meeting soon to discuss things at your leisure, of course. I'd like to request your aid in a small matter. A few days back, an adventurer by the name of Willis Gunderson retrieved a mysterious bracelet from one of the ancient ruins scattered around Dunsward. Gunderson kindly turned it over to my court wizard, Cephal, who continues to examine it as it lies on the table before me. It may be the most peculiar thing I've witnessed, or I've ever laid eyes on. The bracelet is covered in angular patterns that resemble a labyrinth and it's adorned with an inscription in an unknown language. No learned man in Varnhold has been able to read this writing or deduce which culture the artifact belongs to, so I ask for your aid, please. If you have an archivist with deep knowledge of this history of the region, send them along with aid, or send them along to aid us in solving this mystery. I'm sure your capital has plenty of such learned men and women. Perhaps one of them will succeed in reading this inscription. Of course I will. Of course, I will return the Vordekai, 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 Vorda. Well, that's never a good thing. I do know about. Wait, hang on. Go back up. I think I missed something up there. Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. That's all fine. I thought the chest was something we didn't care about, but we definitely did. So, we can go to that cave that was mentioned, although we're kind of running low on time-ish. Oh, we still have like five minutes. We can, uh, maybe we don't have five minutes. Maybe we do have five minutes. Let's go find out. Let's leave this place and hopefully... Hold up, what's this? You notice a huge black bird sitting still on a high fence as, or by the exit, as if waiting for you. It's a raven, glistening black, one of the largest ravens you've ever seen. As you approach, it tilts its head and fixes you with beady black eye. Look, fat tasty feather bag, hit it with stone. As you're ready to leave, you hear a cracked voice, hypocrite. 
Fat, tasty, talky feather bag? What did you say? What's the point of your false pity for these fools who you allowed to, or who allowed you to live? The raven gives a sharp call, almost a bark, with no shelter, no family, no homeland, always on the run. All you do is prolong their suffering and take pride in your. The raven gives a sharp call, almost sneering chivalry. That's not true. A guy still has a chance for a fresh start. Miserable hypocrites, you seek to justify your actions? The raven gives a series of calls, as if laughing. There's no justification. No, no, no. Why are you here? Are you one of the thieves that lived in this miserable settlement? I'm not from Varnhold, but I will find out what happened here. You? The raven gives a short barking call. What arrogance, what pride, you thrall? Do not follow one crime with another. You will suffer the same fate. Who are you? I'm Elter, er, my, sorry, I'm Eltamar, Baron of the neighboring realm. Insult me again, insolent crow, and you'll regret it. The raven regards you for a moment, finally flaps its wings, and without a sound takes flight. Moments later, it is nothing more than a speck in the sky, then it is gone. <clears throat> Apparently there's a lawful evil action. I'm not really sure why, but I'm happy with that. We're just so close to good, we need to calm down on the good a little bit sometimes. Well then. Time to leave. Any loot that we miss that is weapon related? Nope, just those garbage weapons in that box, so not a big deal. What time is it? One o'clock. Hmm. a long walk out of here. Which, oh, there's a zone transition. Whoa, let's just leave it this way. This is way faster. Let's go find things to kill. Or make peace with. But mostly kill. What the... Wait, oh, I see. That wasn't the zone transition, that's just the transition back to here. <sighs> well, I did it dumb. Admittedly, that was a mistake. That was not paying 100% attention, and that was definitely not a way out. Alright, let's move. I wish there was a fast forward button. What game has a fast forward button? I wanted. There's definitely one that did. Didn't this one have a fast forward button at one point? I thought it did. I could be wrong. Hmm. Alright, well now we're out of here for sure. And we'll head off to the cave. The overgrown cavern is where we're supposed to go. We also can go down to Precipice Trail, which is a ways away. Uh, let's go this way. That is definitely not the right way, but we can go to the unfinished clearing. There's ancient cursed things for our lands, but we'll deal with that later. We're here in the... where are we? Go away, I can't read what this is. Unfinished clearing. I will guide us. I'm not really sure how clearing can be finished or unfinished, but regardless, it is a clearing that has a cave. Is this the one with the our path leads on. iron golem in it? Or the greater earth elemental? I remember a cave where there's like a bunch of elementals. I'm not 100% of that sure if that's this one or not. Nothing up there? Okay, let's go into the cave. We can run this one a little over half an hour, unless this cave is giant, which I don't think it is. I think it's just one fight, if I'm not mistaken. I think I have a vague memory of what cave this is. No, it's one's Alpha Wargs from Dunsward Pack. Not, not more runner and talker than fighter. Come on in, all you Alpha Wargs. We have a lot of health. I guess not that much. This is going to <laughs> that knockdown, though. Oh, uh, we don't need to do anything with our main character. 
yet. Probably have to heal soon. Lindsay just opened fire. They have some serious piercing resistance, but that one died. Knock Knock is not going to be able to get a full round attack on them. Too far away. Uh, I don't know if Amir's going to be able to charge or not. Nope, she got stuck. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, they knocked down my Smilodon. Well played, Alpha Warg from Dunsward Pack. Back down you go. Or just straight dead you go. Alright, we'll do some damage, I guess. We could just attack. Stay behind me. Valerie, you're breaking my heart here. Serves you right. That one is not dead. But it missed us. And we killed it. Which knife to use? Yeah. Ah. Alright. Oh, it took some damage. Fine, just fight this one. I don't care who you hit, just hit something. We've critically missed quite a lot lately on our uh, Smilodon attacks. And that one's dead. I think this one might be feared. I think if it tries to run away, though, it'll horribly die. Or it'll just die anyways. Alright, 135 experience a kill for those guys, which means the whole pack is 540 experience. Not bad. I think that's all of them in here, too. There's a barrel, which has a punch dagger and an enchanter's cape, which is plus one to an enchantment. DC spells. But that's it. That's all there is. Not super exciting. Bunch of experience, though. A little bit closer to a level. And that's where we're going to leave off. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, in the next video, we'll head down south, I think. Because we tend to go in the wrong direction on occasion. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.